started at the Archer School today with all of the five primary schools in Blaken doing the parade all the way down to the Queen Elizabeth Field into the festival. They carried on doing their workshops and then Chris Matheson, our MP, officially opened the festival. Now this year's festival is a circus feel to it. It's 250 years of the circus. So we thought, what a great opportunity. People love the circus. And as you can see, as you go around, lots of people are excited. We've got lots of things going, circus acts. We've got dance acts. You know, we've got Adam Brown's Dance Company. We've got Rewind, our local theatre group that is subsidised by Avenue Services. We've got Rage Fitness, our new Rage Fitness that's going on at Blake and Adventure Playground. We've got lots of residents, we've got lots of stores doing lots, local people, collecting for charity or showcasing their own stuff. It's a fantastic day, we're having a fantastic time and as you can see, and everybody's happy. Blaken Festival is a great event for the, for the community of Blaken. It, it, we've got children from the schools, we've got some of the nursery children here, we've got some of the older people here, we've got some of our veterans here from the former armed services people. We've got people from every aspect of our community and they're here celebrating our annual festival. I, I think it's just a fabulous event. Blaken Festival is great for the community in Blaken, but it brings in people from right outside Blaken as well. It's popular right across Chester. There's so many stalls here, it's a great facility. There's a great feeling about the place as well. And you know, Blaken's got the pump track. We are renewing lots of the children's play areas. The place is really on the up and you feel it here today. We've been involved with the festival for many, many years now. Um, Sandra Hewitt, our coordinator, organises the whole festival. And it's grown from strength to strength every year. To be fair, it's getting bigger and bigger. More and more stalls this year. Lots of activities going on, and we're really proud to be part of it. Yeah, it's been a busy year over the last 12 months. Obviously, we've got the pump track, which has been open for a year now and is still used really, really heavily by all the children in Blaken. We've invested quite a bit into the adventure playground, not only just upgrading all the play equipment there, but also the two buildings. And the most recent one being the activity centre just behind us, where we've invested in a multi-surface sports facility. So if anybody wants to hire it, please get in touch with Avenue Services. The Parade Enterprise Centre is working really well. Uh, we've got the library there, as you know, and we've got the spa retail outlet. The, uh, the units themselves, if you remember, there's eight small business units in the building as well, and they're fully occupied, so that's good news. So we're helping quite a few businesses grow and hopefully get into bigger businesses that will employ more people, particularly more local people from Blakert. We've got the community room and conference facilities there. They're used pretty well every day, either from dance classes to general meetings to um, exercise classes and activities. So there's lots and lots going on, so it's really good. I am from Liverpool and I brought my kids all the way to Belaken for this such an amazing event for all of these kids here. I own the International Touring Workshop, which is the major tour, and I tour all around the world teaching children from the age of three right the way up until the age of 18. And at the start of this year in February, I opened my brand new dance school. And since then, we have just grew and grew and grew. And today we are here at the Belaken Festival to headline this such an amazing event for all of these kids here. So so for our show this afternoon, we have been in, in rehearsals for 
just over two months. Um, it's been like three days a week, all night long. It started off with the theme of the festival, which was the circus theme, but I always try and bring a, a different theme than the usual. So we went for a, a more street theme and a more commercial side of things. The sun is shining on us, as always, and I'm really pleased that this 2018 festival is yet another success. <laughs> we are primarily a personal training company and fitness class company and we do it here in the, in the venue behind us, the Blaken Adventure Playground. We started here because we thought there was an opportunity here, there's no personal training one-on-one. -on -one. So personal training isn't for everybody, so we also have fitness classes as well. So with the classes, the age ranges are from say 16 up to say 90 to 100. We range for every sort of ability, so if you're just starting out and you haven't ran more than 500 yards, you can come to the class because we make it easier. If you are a marathon runner, we'll make it harder for you in the same class. So my links with the Avenue Services is that I met with Sandra Hewitt and Chris Lester when I first decided to set up the company. I spoke with them about what my plans are for the future, how I want to help the community and what we were looking at doing there and what we're, we're creating a plan at the moment is that we are looking at supporting and uh, rehabilitating people who are on uh, drugs or abuse drugs or who are going through a depression phase that like results of drugs or results of alcohol. So those plans are in motion at the moment. Hopefully in the next month or two, we'll be flying with those and we'll have a referral system in place with the Enterprise Centre, local community, youth clubs, and local MPs and the police as well, and West Cheshire Council. Oh, the, the festival means for the children, it means an awful lot. It lets children see actually what we've got for them. Quite often, lots of people say there's not a lot to do. Actually, Blaken's got a lot to do. And what we are very lucky at is that our children appreciate and use all our facilities. So our aim is to improve health and well-being and tackle health inequalities across Blaken. Um, we work with residents and community groups to set up new health and well-being initiatives, to do things like raise community spirit, get people together, form new networks, new social networks, look at the barriers that people experience to accessing things like um, mental health or food poverty or loneliness. So we've been in Blaken now for about seven months and the type of work that we're doing, and we've come here today to the festival to promote some work that some of the residents are doing around affordable food to tackle food poverty. So some of that might be quite sort of simple things really, like teaching people how to grow vegetables in their garden. They want to do things like pop-up cafes, make sure information's available about where people can get affordable food. So our role really here is to help them set up as a group and strengthen their group and grow their group to include more people. Other work we've been doing is around dementia. So as part of the NHS 70th birthday, we worked with the Elms GP to look at holding dementia conversations, bringing people together, organisations who've got an interest in dementia and also people affected by dementia to come together to say, what is there already available in Blaken, but what else is needed? So we're working with the wealth of fantastic organisations and assets that are in Blaken already um, to build health and wellbeing and tackle health inequalities further. So the Blaken Festival is the first time I've been here before, but this festival is amazing. I've walked around today, been onto different varieties of businesses and community support groups that we can get involved with. It's fantastic, really. I think it's amazing to have something like this in the centre of Blaken, and hopefully it's here next year and we'll be coming back next year as well. Look, the weather's perfect, there's a great atmosphere, the whole of Blaken comes together uh, for this event and it's just a great place to be. It's a great event and it's getting better and better every year, it's just fabulous. This festival means an awful lot to the community, it means an awful lot to the residents. You know, they come here every year, they're very, very loyal, they come in, but also it gets bigger and better because they make it bigger and better. They really sort of join in, they sort of bring, there's more stalls year on, year out, and that's because everybody wants to be a part of the festival, which is a really great thing for the community. Everybody has a great time, as you can see, and roll on for the next one, July 2019.